Hello. So today I ended up doing like a last minute impulsive DIY. My umbrella broke and it's actually my second umbrella to break in like the past two and a half weeks because mine was broken and it just got to the point where it was unusable and then I bought one and used it and then within like three days it started to break and after a week it was completely unusable. So um, I felt really bad about throwing away a second umbrella um, because like resources and shit, like that there's a lot of effort and resources and whatnot that goes into making all those materials to make an umbrella and then just to use it for like a week and then throw it away because it was broken. Like there's nothing I could do about that. But I don't know. I just really felt bad about it. So I decided to cut the material off of my umbrella and use it to make a DIY like laptop case because I don't I don't have a laptop case currently um which is fine because my backpack which is usually what I carry my my laptop in is in my backpack it has like a cushioned area for a laptop um so like cushion protection wise I don't need a laptop case but I get really worried when it rains because it when it rains here in Botswana it like downpours um I just get really worried that it might get wet and I don't want my laptop to get wet because that would ruin my laptop so I decided to take the umbrella material because it's like a water resistant waterproof material and turn it into a laptop case Right after I started, I decided that it would make a cool video and other people might want to do that with their broken umbrellas because why not? It's a great way to like upcycle something that would usually be trash and that's a super important part about being sustainable, you know, reduce, reuse, repair, recycle, etc. Okay, so I don't have any pins to pin this with, but I have a large amount of needles. So I'm just gonna use these needles to pin it so that it stays in place. That's, that's my plan here. So it fits. Now I just gotta figure out what to do with this top part. So I wanna kind of like hem this part off. Get rid of this extra. So I'll cut it off and then hem it. And then I have some Velcro. I think I can add either strips like up and down here or like a strip across. But I think it would be better if I did like three strips up and down. Maybe. <laughs> I don't actually know what I'm doing. Um, I'm sort of just guesstimating. But um, I do, I do want to turn it inside out. So 
this is the side that I want to be on the inside because even though like these these hems are invisible on the blue side I just think the silver side is a lot prettier so I have it hemmed and clipped all the way around so this is the inside but yeah so all the way around I'm just gonna sew this together and then I'll figure out how to do the fasteners. Okay, so I'm done. Um, I ended up having to, this is like weird. Okay, so I ended up having to add a button to like fold over because when I was thinking about it to do like a Velcro, I would have to Velcro both the inside of here and out here. I ran into this last time I tried to make a bag too. Um, because I have this like both sides of the same length and so there would be two layers of material I was not able to do the velcro because if I velcroed it like this this side could still easily like get taken up if that makes sense so I opted for a button because I had already sewed like all of this I didn't want to have to undo it or make more work for myself so I added a button. I don't really know how to make a buttonhole. So I quite literally just cut a hole. And <laughs> that's, that's what we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna try it. Get my laptop. Waterproof. Cool. Why? There is like a little bit of wiggle room in here too. I don't know if you can see. So like that's that's how much extra room I have. Um, so I could probably put something else like an ink pen or other important papers that I don't want to get wet in here with my laptop if I wanted. I also have like a lot of material left. This is doubled. It's like double this amount. Um, and then like the strip. I'll probably hang on to it for now. But I don't have like a lot of storage space, so I don't want to hold on to it forever. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll hold on to it for like six months, see if I use it and then throw it away. That's that. Alright. Well thanks for watching. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it's cute and it's gonna be functional, so that's really what matters.